Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. So I should, in theory, be able to get most of them. You bring it up over like that and then do the straps. Don't try to close the grab down if you want to pick up a lot of them because it starts altering the positions of the logs. Uh, it's applying pressure on it inside the straps and that will make it start to twitch and do all sorts of strange things which you really, really don't want it to do. You want it to just pick them up and not get overexcited about it. You just want it to just pick them up and stay calm. Um, as soon as you start trying to be clever and using the grab when you've got like a, a whole load of little stuff, uh, it inevitably backfires so just just like that there and then pick the logs up it holds them beautifully i could just lower that grab a tiny little bit just for a little bit of realism so i'm just touching the very tips of those logs but even that is pushing it a bit that is just that small little thing that is pushing it so be very very cautious doing anything like that if, you, if you're using this grab, be extremely cautious doing anything along those lines. Right, now I'm hoping I can get that trailer hooked on and put the straps on. All I want to do now is just put the straps on. There we go. Right, put you there and straps on the load. Everything's in place. Excellent! That's fantastic. We've actually done it. we got straps on the load on there. I'm just going to close that grab down like that. I've got two stumps right there to grind out, and I've got a stump down that side to grind out. We've got a couple more trees that we want to remove. There's actually three. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one up in that corner that we still want to remove. However, I'm not going to cut those down and use this thing on them what we're going to do is we're going to go and take this we're going to sell this timber down the bottom and we're going to come back and we're going to sell uh probably sell the log grab well i'll sell the log grab and i'll sell the trailer and i will probably sell the loader arm as well and we're going to get the brux chipper no 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 Okay, go steady. There's there's quite a weight of wood on this. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful. It's heavier than I thought. It's well, it's more top-heavy than I thought. I wasn't allowing for this to be top-heavy. I've got to be careful of that. Um, So, yeah, we've got to... I'll probably sell the grab and the loader arm as well. Like, we'll, sell, we'll sell the whole thing. Um, let me, oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's very silly undoing straps while you're traveling along because that can have, um, some seriously bad effects. I'm wanting to go to the loader arm so that I can lower that down. For some reason, when I've got the trailer selected and I try to use my joystick, it's not using the loader arm. So I'm wondering if there's something on the trailer that is moving. When I'm trying to use the loader arm on it. Quite what that would be. I don't really know. Uh, let's change selection there. Just do that a minute. Open front loader tool. I don't, I don't know what it is. There's something moving with the trailer. When I try to use my joystick. to Because to move the joystick side to side. That crowds the um, front loader backwards and forwards. But if I go to pick it up, if I go to pick up the main arm or lower it down, it doesn't do anything. Something is trying to operate on the trailer, but I don't know what it is. I can't see anything moving. So there's something going on there, but I, I can't quite figure out what it is. Um, but I, I, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we will sell the trailer, we will sell the loader arm, and we will sell the grab. We will get the Brux Daddy Chipper Thingamahoozit. Uh, we'll use that one to just chip up the rest of the trees. I'm not going to bother with the forestry stuff. 
Um, it's on here. We have got it that we can use. It is a thing that would have been really nice to have in FS13. Um, so I have taken advantage of it. I have altered my gameplay slightly to actually go and use it. Um, but I don't want to do any more. I don't, I don't want this one to be about forestry and I don't want to be spending ages loading up trees like this. Because uh, th this has taken long enough just to do these. We got two full trees on here and we got a half tree. I shouldn't have come around this way. I should have gone, just come in. Oh, you know what? It's actually, it's all right. We can just, we can come in through here. Two full trees. And then there's a, well, it's, it's not even a half tree. It's just some little bits left over. So we're going to bring that one to there. I'm going to undo the straps and catapult a few bits of timber out. But they're all still within the sail thing. What are we going to get? 53,690. 17,000, 17 and a half thousand dollars or euros. For two trees. <laughs> That's insane. That is an insane amount of money. That really is. Right. You know what? I can't actually be bothered with driving all the way back up to the dealership. Considering that is where we need to go next. So rather than me either cutting it out so that you don't have to watch it. Or me um, doing anything else with it. I am simply just going to reset them like this. Um, because there's no point in me, like, I, I could just cut out the, the bit of video and drive back up, but it, it doesn't seem to be much point in doing that. Right, there's the one that I want. Um, equally, I could do this behind the scenes and you not see it, and it doesn't seem to be much point in doing that, and that feels dishonest to me. Saying that, you know, uh, uh, just, like, it, making it look like I've then just, like, carefully pulled up to the dealership, it just, it... There's an element of slight dishonesty in that. Um, I mean, I suppose there isn't because it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like telling a story as I go through and I do the Let's Play anyway. So, you know, technically it's not. But at the same time, why bother hiding it? Why would I bother to hide it? Some of you are probably thinking that I should have driven up here properly and, 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 and done this without, um, like, changing around things but well this is this is how i want to do it um let's go to you i don't want to sell you at all i want to go to that one and well it's not even going to let me repair it so i'm going to sell that one for 1759 i'm going oops <laughs> i'm going to leap all the way back up to the farm in a single giant bound uh we want to tab through want to sell that one 15,602, okay, and then I want to press R like that, and then tab, uh, sell that one right there for another 4,744, so that lives, that, that lives me, that gives me 93,000 euros, so then what we're going to do is we're going to come into here, and we're going to go into here, we're going to go to our forestry work, where are you? Uh, forestry equipment right there, and we want to get that one. So that's the stump grinder right there. I'm not going to bother with the stump grinder. I'm just going to take that one. This one, in theory, should cut and chip. And the stump grinder, I'm going to use the bio belts that I've got anyway. So we want 58,000 on this one. Colors. I'm going to go with the Fent Nature Green on that one. Although that gives us an extra 2,600. Right, go back to there and then go in here. For, yeah, that, that's a lot of money to put a little bit of paint on it, considering how small the machine is. All right, buy that one for $58,000. Uh, euros. This is one that we are actually going to keep. Right, that is a machine that we're going to keep. We're going to use a lot. Uh, from this point on, we're not going to mess around with um, doing the trees. They... It was nice doing the trees, but they do take rather a long time. And I, I don't really want to spend all that much time doing the trees. So I can gather up that I can cut down the trees using this one. And then we've got the stump grinder that we can use on the back. And we can do it like that. Um, and we can just go and cut them down and be done with. Or I can go and put the wood chips put them into storage and then do something with the wood chips later on i'm not sure if i've got wood chip storage on my main bins over there 
I don't know if it will tell me if I've got wood chip storage on here. It Total capacity. Right, I don't have wood chip storage. Those bins there, they don't give us any wood chip storage. We, we don't have any of those. I got 400,000 of those. It's saying I got 200,000 litres of capacity for potatoes and sugar beet and sugar cane. Although I'm not sure where that capacity would be. Um, but wood chips, it's not giving us anything at all on those. And they're 267. So there's not a lot of money to be had with the wood chips. So it might not be worth the bother. I will unfold the thing a minute. We'll do that. I'll put the stump grinder on the back. I'm going to unfold that one completely right there. We'll go and get this stump grinder back here. Like this. And you can go on as well. And then we'll come over this way. And there's the stump from the first tree. So let's grind that one out. Lower you down. Now this one, I lift it up ever so slightly like that. And... Goes over the top like that. Right, why aren't you chopping that bit out? You should be. Hmm. That's not good. I can't pick you up. Oh, right. Uh, I don't quite know what's going on with that. It's a bit more of... It's a, it's a bit of the tree. It's definitely a bit of tree going on here. There's a bit of stump or something on there. Right, well, I've, it, it's gone now, whatever was there. We, we'll find out if it's gone completely. I mean, that's not going to do anything to it there. But the way that we will eventually find out if it's gone completely is if I can enlarge this field with the plough, make things a little bigger here... And then we'll see after that. Right, I want to go through there. And I want to remove... You've done exactly the same on that one. Is it going to be like this with all of these? And for some reason, my bio belts is not removing them either. It should be. I wonder... I wonder if I can do it with this one. Look, if I swap that over and start this one up here... Is that going to try and cut it through? It's definitely got something on there. Right, that doesn't, that doesn't actually seem to be doing anything at all. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what the situation is with these. If I bring that down there and cut it here like this, maybe. Let's chop that through and then see if that... Well, that got rid of the bit underneath. And now I've got a loose piece there. If I... Okay, that, that, does, that doesn't actually sit on the thing. Uh, but I'm in theory, I should now be able to chip that up just by bringing the wood chipper. There we go. Wood chipper has gone in through it. And there's nothing left there in front of it. It's definitely all gone there. So I'll switch that one off and we'll go to the wood chipper on the back. Like that. It's almost definitely going to do that same thing again I would guess only this time it has actually left it as a loose slice rather than doing anything else with it I want to lift that one up like that and I want to switch to this front one there we go right there's that bit so we've got 70 liters of wood chips on board now in theory the extra attachment you get to it that's the stump grinder attachment uh, so I shouldn't need that I should now be able to brux chip this one right here lower it down like that fire it up you don't have access to this land really you're not gonna let me you gotta be kidding me after all that I can't take the corner tree out <laughs> I feel like I've been cheated. Right there, look, see how close it comes to that corner there. Like, it, it will allow you to open up stuff over here, but we've got that tree. It's going to be right in our way here. That one right there is, is going to be right in our way. The only way that I'm going to be able to actually remove that tree then... Uh, 
That's not let me do anything there. Yeah, it would be trying to cut it through right there. Don't have access to the land. I'm not allowed to cut that tree down. So the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I buy this chunk of land right here, which is $8.6 million. That's not happening today. So what about the tree over here? This is the next one I was going to look at. Can we cut that one down? I mean, it's a sh uh, that, that one being up there on the end of the field is it basically it is going to make life a little bit more difficult for us. So what about you? You I can get rid of. Right. That's good. I like that I can get rid of that one. What about coming in any closer on this? No. Uh, basically what happens now is it is sort of... If I can do that, you, you like you, you. If you can shake it round a little bit like that, you can make the thing work. And so I want to turn that one off, and then I want to switch to the stump grinder on the back, like this. And I want to grind. Right. Do some grinding on there. That's got rid of that. It doesn't take a lot for this stump grinder to work. Uh, you know, once, once he's done a little bit, he, he'll get through. I suspect this tree, I'm not going to be allowed to do anything with it. I suspect it's going to tell me that I don't own the land. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to let me take that one down. Fantastic. Right, so we've now got 38,000 litres of wood chips at only 200 per thousand litres. There's not a lot of money, so I'm not going to worry about um, emptying this one out and trying to sell it or anything. I want to switch to that back one there and just back up this way a bit. Get that stump grinder there. That's everything. Okay, I'm happy with this, apart from the fact that we can't get that tree down the end. It's a little bit disappointing that we can't quite reach that tree down the end, but we have got the potential here to open up our land a little bit and increase the size of this field. We could also make use of this piece over here and increase the size of the field. I don't need that track over that side. So I could remove all the trees here and I could plow this right out to the front over here so that we're up to this end. And I'm seriously tempted to do that and then put in a new track down the side. But I don't think we're going to do that now. Because um, I'm not actually planning to change the field around just yet. Actually, I want this one to be running. I need I need this one to be going. So, I need to fold you... Uh, hang on a minute. I fold you up. Right. That should leave the wood chips on board. We're not going to accidentally unload them into a trailer, which I really don't want to do. So, we'll go and put these two forestry equipments over this side. I will leave you right there like that. Just there, and then we'll put this one beside it, and then we're going to hook into our forage wagon, and we're going to go and start picking up some of the straw, getting that out of the way. Lower, hang on, let's lower you down there like that, and done. The thing that we've got to decide is, do we want to keep any straw? Do we want to have loose straw in storage ready for cows? Or are we going to wait a couple of, um, a few growing seasons before we start worrying about cows? Um, we could go and get a few right now and start working on them. Or we could just concentrate on building up the farm to start with. Kind of thinking that building up the farm to start with would be our better option. And then we come back to it later on and start working on the actual cows. I'm going to go up there. Because this is these are quite narrow runs down through here. I'm thinking a rake would be nice. If we had a rake and we were able to pull this straw in a bit closer. So this is barley that we had on here. Which means that our next crop that we want to do is going to be oats. We want to get the oats sown right way down across here. That tree's really bugged me. That has that has that has really bugged me. That has. I'm 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 still wanting to make this field bigger, but the fact that I can't do it with that tree being there, like I can't remove that tree. That's gonna that's gonna make 
harvesting this field rather tricky. There's got to be a way around this. I mean, the only way around it would be is if I was to manually add about 8 million euros and buy the bit of land in between all of the fields. That would literally be the only option that I've got at the moment is to go and manually add 8.6 million and buy all of these this extra bit of land all the way around. It's not going to be beneficial to me to buy that. Right, there's no benefit to me buying that other than I can remove that tree right there. I mean, what I could do also then is I'll be able to go and mow grass along the verges in places if I really want to. Um, so that could be an option. So that, actually, I'll tell you what, because, uh, you know, you used to go and be able to get a little bit of grass here and there in places. So do you think that I should do that in this game? I'm not doing it so that I can go overboard. I don't want to be going overboard with the, um, what it called, the, you know, the, uh, landscaping. I don't want to go overboard with the landscaping. I just want to be able to tweak the fields and make them how I always wanted to make them. Um, but what do you think of the idea of me going along and buying up all of these extra bits around the edges? It's not going to be giving us anything extra that we can go and farm. And I am going to be quite particular about not using it or spreading out anywhere or putting things down until I've bought the fields that surround an area anyway. I'll be quite particular about um, keeping within the limits. But the game you always used to be up until this version that you bought the fields and you already kind of automatically owned everything else around anyway. So what have we got? We got uh, 6.2, 8.7, uh, 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 8.7, um, 9.1, and 10. So we're looking at 20, 40, we're looking about 40 million. 40 million euros. What do you think of me adding 40 million euros? Uh, no, basically, I will see what the money is at the end, and I will put it back. I'll make a note of that and we'll put it back to that exact figure. So 35,239 euros at the moment. Um, what do you think of me going and buying up all of those extra bits? All of those extra bits all the way around on everything. If I was to buy those up and then adjust my uh, adjust it back so that we've got all those extra bits. I won't use them but it will be handy for just like tweaking the edges of fields ever so slightly, removing that tree right down the end. Little details like that that uh, at the moment we can't really go and do because of, you know, the, the, that little bit of land right there, right on the very edge of the field, not being ours. And we can't buy that tree unless we fork out 8 million or whatever it is um, euros, which is an obscene amount of money. I don't want to spend eight and a half million to be able to buy that one tree. I mean, yeah, there, there are other trees that we would be able to benefit from. And there are other trees that we could go and remove then. So we could, ultimately, if I was to do that, well, then we can go into our landscaping look. And I'd be able to essentially just bring this down and straighten up the edge of it. Because that there, I don't own that land there either. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to just... Feather that down a little bit over there. And then plow my field up with the edge of the road. Going there. And bring that in a straight line all the way up here. And up sort of to that corner. So it'll just push that down and I'll feather and tidy up that edge on there. And then we have that bit out and we can remove that tree. We don't want to bring the field up this way anymore. It's going to be too tight on there. And then we run right the way down here. But then what I'll do is I can take the edge of the field down to the edge of this road over here. And if I'm over on the edge of the road here, I'd be going somewhere along there, coming out. So maybe I could just tweak the... I probably wouldn't on this end. I probably wouldn't do very much on this end. I would just have that field, that bit there would be a rounded corner on there. That's all we do. We'll do a rounded corner on that side. Um, and then it can come out and it will sort of just be a little bit back from the edge of that road there. 
if I was to, I might not go up that far. I might only go, I might go up this sort of this far and leave a grass verge there so that we got room for maneuvering around here. Um, and I, well, actually it's, it's not over there, is it? It's over to this bit. It goes to here. So maybe I would. I'll, no, I'll still want some swing move. I, I don't know. It'll be out there somewhere, something like that. Uh, but yeah, do I go and buy up all of the bits in the middle? There's a big question for you. There's a, a, a quite a series that could have quite an impact on how I play out this series. Um, thoughts and opinions in the comment section as always. What do you think of the idea of me buying up every single bit of the in-between lands? I'm not adding anything extra to go and buy the fields. I have no interest in doing that. I am not doing that at all. It's not going to be able to benefit us financially. The trees that we remove, I will add as a stipulation that if I do that, then any trees that we use with the Brux Chipper and everything, we won't sell any more trees. We won't sell the wood chips that we get from them. Uh, all wood chips and that will just chip up using the Brux Chipper that we've got right there. We won't empty it out because once that one reaches its onboard tank of 60,000, that's it. It finishes. Um... It will keep cutting down the trees. It's just that the wood chips all just disappear into the void after that point. Um, and so that, I would say, is like the, the sort of stipulation with having um, all of the extra little bits of land so that I can tweak the fields how I really want them. Uh, no selling of timber at any point. We won't do any more selling of timber unless we decide to go and harvest a stand of trees like that bit over there. But I think that bit over there, let's look on the map a second. That bit over there, land, that's its own chunk of land anyway, 470,000. We've got a stand of pine trees right there that we can have for actual forestry work. I don't think there's any others. I'm looking around at this map. There are no others. That's the, oh no, there's another one down there. All right, so there's two small stands of, if we do those trees... That, that would be different. That would be like the, the whole Ponzi Scorpion type situation. But, but at the moment, I don't have any plans to go and do that anyway. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way things are right now. I'm not sure how much of this straw I should gather. I mean, it, it is worth gathering up the straw. It's definitely worth gathering the straw. We bring it over here. You look how much we get from selling one load of straw right here. I'll go and tip that out. We're on 35,200 at the moment. We dump all that. I'm going to have a drink while this empties out. There we go. 3,886 from our harvest income for that. Um, what's the straw on at the moment? I have got some lists of the best prices you can get for various different crops. Some of it is not entirely accurate because a lot of these lists were made before some adjustments and tweaks were sort of done to different ones. Uh, we are selling... Edge Black Baylor's Barn. That one. Uh, so we're getting 158 euros per thousand litres for straw, which is about the highest price that we're going to get for straw. So that's not too bad. We're getting 3,800 per load. There is probably four loads worth on this field. Maybe a bit more than that. Oops, it's right there that I want to go. Uh, is there four loads? Okay, uh, maybe not quite four loads. Roughly four loads. At 3, I think we've relived enough glory days just for a moment. We're going to take a breather. We're going to have a little bite to eat. And then we can get back to it nice and refreshed and relive a few more glory days. There should be some names coming up right now that you can have a look at. It's names of people who are in the Great Book of Names, people who have supported this channel. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.